now I'm on the way to the bus to Gothenburg Center or Central or Center uh, I'm gonna take the airport sh shuttle it's about 1.10 in uh, at night yeah uh, the plane is going 6.40 towards Zurich. Zurich. So I'm on the way to the bus and from Zurich. Zurich, Zurich, yeah. I'm gonna take the plane to Miami. I'm gonna be in Miami for 16 hours and then fly to Bahamas. And yeah meet my cousins and aunts and so on and I hope my everybody's all right and this trip is going to be great I'm gonna fly with the A220 from Gothenburg to Zurich and then from Zurich to Miami I'm gonna fly a Boeing 777 so it's gonna be great I'm excited. I'm a little bit early to the bus. I'm gonna show you around. This is the area I'm living. Oh, I did live it. It's love. Oh, yeah, that in Angered, a suburb, suburb of Gothenburg, and got the bus stop over there yeah it's pretty empty a little bit cold but that's all right I'm excited <laughs> first time in Bahamas since 82 and this is gonna be great believe me I'm excited Yep, now I have, uh, just need to wait for a bus. Now I'm on the tram towards, uh, toward Gatherberg Center. And uh, at Gatherberg Center I'm going to wait for about, is it one hour, one and a half hour? for the, the airport shuttle uh, and then yeah I'm gonna be on the airport for maybe two hours and then I'm gonna fly to uh, two and two and two hours and 40 minutes and then I'm gonna fly to Zurich. so this is gonna be great Now I'm gonna get off at uh, Gothenburg Central Station, and I have a wait for I think it's one hour and twenty minutes, and over there is the Central Station. Oh, I hope they are open. Otherwise, I have to go around. Yeah. Oops. Over there you have uh, Gothenburg Central Station. And I'm going to see if I can go through. I don't think so, but we will see. It's very deserted right now because it's 2 o'clock at night. Um, I can see. Oh, this. Okay. Yep. And now I'm going around the train station and I'm gonna go through outside the outside of the train station because it's closed right now to the bus station. Here you got the train station. I hope the bus station is open. 
Il m'a venu. Ah, The double decker and um, has been trains. Both is, I think, both, yeah, all three is going to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, I mean. And then we have uh, another train that is going to Stockholm. I think it's the double decker. Uh, let's see if the bus station is. It's open. We have a train that goes to Oslo. I think it's that one. Let's see. Yeah, that one is going to Oslo. Karlstad, I think it's that one. And that's more a local train over there. Uh, Elbing, I think that's local too. Maybe both of them, yeah. Both of those are local. And here we have a train that goes to Kalmar. That one, the dark one. Let's see. Now I have arrived at the bus station. And I bought a return ticket with the uh, Airbus shuttle. Yeah, uh, I think that's uh, the best thing to do. Um, and yeah, I have about 37 minutes left till the bus is leaving. So this is some picture of the bus station. avoid filming some people. Yeah. This is all the stops, the bus stops. Got about I think 30 stops here. And that's cool. So um, this is the beginning of the trip. I'm on the way to Bahamas to visit my family for the first time in 40 years, about, uh, 82, it was the last time I was in Bahamas, I'm born in, in Georgetown, Exuma. My brothers are born in different parts of Bahamas, but yeah, it depends on where you live at the time. Yes, now I'm on the airport shuttle and it's uh, got a little bit earlier, 20 minutes earlier than I expected. And now we have only, yeah, is it 12 hours? A little bit more than 12 hours till I get to Miami. And it's about maybe six hours till I arrive in Zurich. Now it should be 16 hours till I arrive in Miami. And tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, yes. Yeah, tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Not this, uh, not today, but tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Then I'm going to arrive in Nassau, Bahamas. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to have a nice sun. My cousin is waiting. Great.
guess I'm on with me. Hey, yeah, I'm not sure. So, the tie. No, it's too tight. But as you can see, get close to the Now I arrived at Lambert Airport. I got about three hours and yeah, about three hours till the next uh, part of the trip, the trip to Zurich, and then the next trip to Miami, and then Nassau. Yeah, see. Um, Walking toward the gate, it's about two hours too early, but uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna film some aircrafts. Sadly, I don't know what kind of model. I think that one over there, the SAS, is a is a Airbus, maybe. 220 or uh, Airbus A320, 21, something like that. I'm not sure. It's, and this is the bar at uh, Arlanda. Yep, let's see. And everything is closed because it's too early. We got a smurder brood. One four six nine to four hundred nineteen. I think that might be a little bit steep. Uh, for a sandwich, it's a little bit steep, I think. Um, and yeah, maybe something's no, nothing is open yet. And they have electric cars from Volvo. Yeah, a lot of them at uh, at Landvette and a sports bar. Let's check out what more we got. Uh, I'm gonna walk toward gate 24, so I know where it is. It's two hours left, but. It's interesting. We have a Lufthansa, but you can't see the plane from here. Yeah, maybe a bit. And here is gate 19. Let's see. 20A. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit early. And in the distance, it's a Ryanair plane. I'm not going to fly with Ryanair today. Did that on the way from Ghania to Gothenburg about two, three weeks ago. And it's pretty empty right now. Let's see where's. Gate 24, yeah, it's over there, 24 is over there, and of course it's closed, but 
There you got the Ryan airplane. Yeah. Let's see. I really want to know where it is. Straight. Okay, down there. I'm flying Swiss Air. Okay, it's down there, basically. Let's see. So, I'm supposed to go down there later on. Okay, that sounds great. And let's focus on me. Yeah, it's about four o'clock right now in the morning, so it's 4 a.m. I have updated my Facebook and yeah, I'm not tired, but I'm not so up and kicking it basically. It's somewhere between, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm focusing on the 737 over there, the Ryanair, uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the problem with Airbus, I think, is that they are maybe more streamlined than Boeing, but I think Boeing looks much yeah, cooler in a way. Uh, yeah, except of the new A350. They are pretty cool in a way. I don't say I prefer the A350 compared to a, the Boeing 787. They are different kind of planes. It's the same opinion I have on some Airbus planes too. They are maybe the same segment of the market, but they are different natured, more or less. So, yeah, that's my opinion anyway. Um, let's see if we can see some more planes. I'm not so amused about what can can you call it the height that they put on the latest planes. I mean the A220. I'm gonna fly a A220 today, but I'm not that. What can I call it? I'm not that impressed. I don't think they have done as much as the 747 and the 737 and the A300 did when they came to the market. Yeah. So, that's it. I'm still uh, watching or uh, checking out some airplanes. I think I have a clue what the SAS planes are. I think it's a uh, Airbus 320 Neo. Oh, shoot, you can't see anything. I think that's a 320 Neo because I saw. Uh, KLM, and I think we have a uh, Air France 220 because that plane looks a bit different. Here we got another plane that looks different, but it is an A in front of it, so I think that's a Airbus 220 over there. And the KLM 
is a Negro. Let's take a close look. Yes, I think that her friend's hope is uh, 220. Or maybe an embrayer, but I think the embrayer is a 220 now. And there we got a K lamp, and if I remember right, that one was a 320 Neo. That's, and it's going to Frankfurt, it says, in Germany. Yeah, I'm going uh, to Zurich. Zurich. So, yeah, that was the 320 Neo over there it's and the SAS on the other side looks like the other SAS and I think that's uh, 320 Neo 2 so that's a Lufthansa 320 and the SAS over there looks like a 322 they have similar so that SAS over there looks like 320 needles. Oh, I can't go into the boarding area. But let's take a stroll. Over here, I think I have seen those apples. Uh, those airplanes before. So that KLM over there is a uh, Airbus, and that uh, no, maybe yeah, because that's a uh, 320 new. There's something here. I have not something here. They have the spirit of. Gothenburg or Göteborg register code it's a, a 340 I think and this is the door of a 340 maybe not that small it's bigger than that I think uh, this engine might be the right size and uh, oh, it's a 787 engine so the engine is a 787. The winglet of there is a 777. And we have windows from a 747. A copper brewer from 737, 600. And a wheel from a 380. That's SAS, SAS doesn't have, and when wipe from a 330, SAS has those. Look, I found the gate, gate 24, this way sir, but if I turn the camera, you can see I have a, a perfect view of and Ryanair, we saw it from above, and then a two-way flight that just came, and further away, further in the distance is a British Airways. So I'm enjoying my time here. I have about one hour and forty minutes left, plus minus maybe one hour and fifty minutes left, and I'm excited. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting day. Yep, now we're starting to board to the uh, right to Zurich, and I'm very tired. I had to stand up the last minutes because I'm almost 
going to sleep. I've been have a, yeah, I've been half partially sleeping since eight to twelve twelve thirty. And now I'm very tired. I can try to sleep some a little bit on the flat. It's going to be at Airbus 220. Uh, yeah. Display over there. Yeah. Now my trip to Bahamas is beginning. I'm on board the uh, Atlantic A A220, and yeah, it looks fresh and good. You can see how it's gonna turn out. Look at the weather, it's great too. No clouds. Start our flight. Flight time today expected uh, one hour and 40 minutes. Thank you for attention and have a nice flight. Have a good one. Operator 
draw those up thank you Good morning, dear guests. That's my pleasure to welcome. Welcome to Tata for a crew on Seoul from the airport of Swiss Airlines flight to Zurich. Operating today by the Baltic. My name is Sergio and I'm senior coming through, and together with my colleagues, Felipe and Gaspar, we are happy to take care of you on this flight. The flight time is estimated to be one hour and 40 minutes. Now we have your attention for the safety video demonstration. Thank you, and we wish you a pleasant flight. Welcome aboard. We'll make sure you stay safe while you're with us. Now we need your full attention for the safety demonstration, even if you are a frequent flyer and know this all by heart. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted and released as shown. And please keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're seated. There is a no smoking policy on this flight. Smoking is forbidden on board the aircraft and that includes electronic cigarettes as well. 
if there is a failure in the air supply, your oxygen mask will drop down automatically in front of you. Pull the mask towards you, and don't worry, the oxygen will start to flow. Place the mask over your mouth and nose, and make sure it is well adjusted before helping others. If we must evacuate, there are six emergency exits on this airplane marked with a green exit sign above them, in the front, in the center, and at the back. To find an exit, just follow the light strips on the floor. Take a look around to find the nearest exit, and let us just remind you that it might be behind you. During evacuation, leave all personal belongings on board. Your life jacket is located under your seat. Only when instructed by the cabin crew, Remove it from its container and place the jacket over your head. Buckle the strap and tighten right around your waist. Once off the plane, pull the handle and your vest will inflate. Another way of inflating it is by blowing into the tube. You can continue to use your portable electronic devices if they have a flight mode and you switch it on now. Or just turn them off while on board. Alright, now we are ready for takeoff. Please make sure all carry-on items are placed in the overhead compartments or under the seat in front of you. Tray tables and seats are in their upright positions, your armrests are down, your window blinds are open, and your seat belt is securely fastened. For any additional safety information, you can check out the safety card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Please always pay attention to signs in the aircraft and the crew who's there to make your flight safe and comfortable. Thank you for your attention and we wish you a pleasant flight.
erste Ergebnis ist, die Bordwasser und Zivil Respektive Kalin Sein hast du noch. Und die Summe der Magic Trucks kommt vor, die Subject wird verlaut. Wir sagen jetzt Bye zu dir und hoffen, dass du dich mit uns verbringst. Danke für das Fahren Swiss, dass du dich mit der Air Baltic und wir freuen uns, dass du dich mit uns verbringst. Wir wünschen euch einen sehr schönen Tag. Danke und Bye. Now I have land that is sorted. Now it's the next plane to Miami. This is going to be fun. Now we are standing on the observation. Observation. Uh, I missed the takeoff. Quantum. No, that was uh, Qatar. Okay, uh, we are on the observation deck at the uh, city, and there are a lot of planes. I'm wondering which of these planes I'm gonna fly on. I have my battery pack charging my camera. Because I accidentally um, filmed too much, or 
Mm. Yeah, or more or less was playing around a little bit too much. Thank, I'm thankful that I have two battery packs. Singapore, that's not it. I'm gonna fly Swiss. I think it's one of those. Gonna go over here and see if we can film one of the takeoffs. Let's see. Let's see if we are lucky. There we go. We have a takeoff on the way. There it comes. I hope I can see something. On this small screen, it's oh, it's a British Airways. There's another plane. I'm gonna see. It says Anadole. Dole. Anadole jet. Maybe a Turkish, maybe something else. Comes there. It looks like an Airbus. I'm not sure. Okay, it's another airplane that is taking off. I'm going to see if I can zoom. See if I can zoom in. Ah, that wasn't good at all. Ah. didn't work. Zoom in didn't work, so a lot of traffic. Yeah. And there it comes. Sadly, I can't zoom in enough. Looks like a business jet. Passing us in a second or two. Flicks. Lyrics. Lyrics. Dot com. Oh yeah. Pegasus. Lyrics. Dot com. Or something like that. Okay, we have another takeoff over there. And that's the last one I'm gonna record because I want to enjoy the sights too.
That's it. Hello. Now I'm sitting up by or near the the gate. Uh, and yeah, it can be interesting. It's a bone seven 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 this time towards uh, Miami. Yeah, Zurich was very expensive, and yeah, the, it wasn't so much to buy really because a lot of cheese and uh, chocolate and I don't really really can handle lactose so yeah it did work out and I uh, have a coca cola I have some water that was really expensive we will see when, uh, yeah, how it works out. And now I have one hour left. And I'm recharging the camera right now. Oops. Yep, I'm still in the uh, in Switzerland because somebody oh uh, you can say the police force in Sweden messed up and that's why I'm still here it's a long story gonna explain it some other time but you can sum it up with that um, the police told me that everything will be okay if I take my old, if they cancel my old passport, and if I take it with me, everything would be okay. But of course not. It would, would not. Basically, I got denied boarding. On board a flight to Miami, and that meant that I had to pay a lot. To them to get to Bahamas because I missed my Bahama Nassau flight, so I paid the Bahama Air twice because of some cops that didn't know the rules. So I'm not that happy about that, but I get over that after a while, I suppose. Yep. Yep, uh, I'm still in here, uh, but now I have a lot of time, so I'm walking around a little bit and see if I can find some uh, fast food restaurant or something like that for a reasonable price because it's pretty expensive in uh, Switzerland. The hostel I were at were kind of cheap. Uh, if you want to call it, yeah, it was kind of cheap, but now the complex thing is to find. Oh, maybe McDonald's. Yeah, I usually don't go to McDonald's because I get, uh, yeah, they have too much sauce and cheese and other things like that. But I don't think I have a choice today. It needs to be very cheap. So I'm gonna see if they have something I can eat. And yeah, bye. Ja,
Yep, that's the plan we're going to go to Miami with. It's going to be fun, a 777, and I'm going to have a great time. I think I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a window seat, but I think it will be about the wing. So it might not be that interesting. I hope it's behind or in front of the wing, but you never know. Let's see. There we got the GE engines, the biggest in the world, one of them. The other one is on the other side. It's just behind the wings. That means we're going to have a great sound later on when uh, the engine is revving up. And that's going to be nice. I have a lot of, okay, I have a lot of space for my knees, I suppose. We will see. Oh, no. So much air. Got a towel. Oh, that's my transport and ticket. Got a towel here. Yeah. Or a. No, not a towel. It's more like a blanket. I got. No small what? Change. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but we're going to check it later on. That's great. So, um, just behind the wing. Sadly, it will not be an um, engine, uh, engine picks, but um, just behind the wings. Yeah. Now I'm in the thing. We had one blanket and one pillow, and I don't know what it is in that small bag. We have a, a screen, and you can see the reflections of me. We have a table. Oops. And that looks good too. It looks like we have Swiss Connect VP. So, let's see. Seems like we can fly by island. I
the main event starts. Take off.
Taking up from Sweet on the way to Miami, and I'm not disappointed. We'll also take up the next paper in the big, the biggest and the hardest block. We are moving so that you can connect with the game. So, this is a game that we
Oh. 